morning, year three. So what have we been looking at in maths this week? Make with your fingers or your arm the symbol that we have been looking at in maths this week. Well done if you made a symbol that looks like this. It's our takeaway sign. It means that we are taking something away. So is my answer getting bigger or smaller? It's getting smaller. So let's have a little look at some questions because today in maths, you are going to have lots of different questions to answer, but they all have the takeaway sign in. So 23, takeaway 11, how would you answer this question? What would you use? Well, I don't know if you said jottings. This is a two digit number. We don't have that many fingers. So we are going to use jottings. To do that, I'm going to draw my tens and units grid. Can you show me on your fingers how many tens are in 23? And now can you show me on your fingers how many units are in 23? Well done if you said three. What do I do now? I need to take away 11 and I need to take away one unit. I'm going to cross my unit out to show that I've taken it away. I've got rid of it. What about in my tens? How many tens do I need to cross out? I need to cross out one. So what is my answer? Let's count my units first. I have two units. And I have one ten. My answer is, well done if you said 12. My answer is 12. But what about this question? Do I need jottings for this one? Mm, I don't think I do. Who can tell me why I don't need jottings for this one? Well done if you said that I've got eight fingers so I can do this using my brain in my head. For this question, I need to put up, put 15 in my head and how many fingers do I need? Eight and I'm counting backwards. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. My answer is seven. Well done if you calculated my answer was seven. Let's have a look at another question. Oh, these look tasty. It says, Miss Johnson started with this tray of biscuits. Then, oh, I was feeling very uh, greedy. Then she ate six of them. How many were left? So what is my number sentence going to be? What is the whole number that I started with? Can you count with me? I'm going to put a dot on it so I know I've counted it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I started with 20 biscuits and I'm eating some of them, so I'm taking them away. Let's look back at the question. She ate six. How many biscuits did I eat? Show me on your fingers. Well done if you said six. So I'm going to cross six biscuits out. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Can you count with me and see how many biscuits we've got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty. Take away six is fourteen. Let's have a look at one more question before you go and have a go at your own questions. It's, oh, sorry, no, two more questions. 24, take away eight. Again, do I need think jottings? No, because I've got eight fingers. Let's make it so you can see me. So I've got 24 in my head and I've got eight fingers and I'm counting back 
backwards. 23, 22, 21. What comes before 21? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Oh, my answer is 16 again. Fantastic. Okay, I have one more question today. It says, Mrs. Wells started the day with 11 chocolate bars. Miss Cook ate two chocolate bars. Gosh, there are some greedy teachers in year two, uh, three. How many chocolate bars were left? So what is my number sentence? How many chocolate bars did Mrs. Wells start with? She started with 11. And then Miss Cook ate some, so she took some away. How many did Miss Cook eat? Two. Fantastic. Now, do I need jottings? I don't. Why? Because I've got two fingers. So 11 goes in my head, two fingers, 11's in here, I'm counting backwards, 10, 9. What is my answer? 9. Now I would like you to have a go at answering your takeaway questions using the strategies we've just spoken about. Good luck. <laughs>